Have you ever asked asked yourself or questioned yourself like how the hell did I get back about on that back that you um you had you you on that bad situation that bad energy or the situation that you were in before in the past life all the challenges that you were facing back then have you ever asked yourself how did you how did you face those situations and get now and look at you have you ever asked yourself you see we always compare ourselves to others we always feel like we have to be the same level of the other person that is next to us or the people that we see behind the screens of maybe your PC or your laptops or your phone. We always compare ourselves but the real, the, our real friend, enemy and whatsoever is ourselves. We have to mostly compare to our past self because we develop day by day every minute every hour every day we get better you can also get worse obviously but we normally strive to achieve more and to reach to the highest to become better to ourselves and so that's can be one the main reason that we have to compare ourselves to we have to compare our past selves you know what I'm, maybe one of you can say that hey splinters but what do you mean comparing yourself to your to your past self like probably maybe you were like a a drug addict or a criminal should should i compare myself to to when i was a criminal no but in the sense of like maybe look at how you, how you have reached right now like since you were a criminal now you're better you have to focus more on your journey that you you've made far far and rich now it's supposed to like gives you joy instead of looking to other people's life and journey and like maybe sometimes you feel that you have to you have to set your expectation on the other other people but you have to set your special expectation on yourself you have to you have to put high standards if you're if you are the person that's that puts high standard like me i i place high standards so much that i want to strive to bigger goals and i think that that is that is good that is the best things you see when you're comparing yourself to others you you mostly lose focus on like the 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 things the tasks your journey your things that you're facing through you simply lose focus and you you start losing confidence on what you're doing but you need to focus more on how you're growing as a person because that's real that's what gives you really joy and and it gives you more confidence to to go on to always go to go to step by step to to always strive into more goals to high levels because you're already strong enough you're already competent enough to face those higher goals like doesn't it gives you joy when you're you're doing something you're trying to achieve a goal and you see yourself changing you see yourself transforming in a different person you because for achieving that goal you really have to become another person you you simply see yourself become the person that you wanted be to be you wanted to become bef before doesn't that gives you joy instead of looking other people 
people's life and um, simply comparing yourself to others and when we are comparing ourselves to others we we also like trigger different negative emotions like self-doubt mostly jealousy you start becoming jealous to other people and you simply underestimate your your value you become more critical about what you're doing is this is this um, worth doing is this um, like gonna give me um, something better in life it simply tr- trigger negative emotions that you when you start you you never you never think um, thought about it and also your self motivation decrease so we we limit ourselves to to be improving more and more ourselves like when you don't have motivation you won't think like yeah let me improve let me let me let me search what what to change about myself like let me improve myself because you simply lose motivation you simply forget why did I did I start doing this but when you see how you can better yourself from your past self you start taking action you start doing doing what you really wanted to do like taking action i've always say this in some of my videos and when where consistent action take place you simply see improvement maybe not now but later if not later or or immediately you simply be be seen improvement in yourself you just have to be taking action be consistent in what you're doing so you can be seen improvement yourself and and will also give you the the confidence to be continue so you can be focusing on your journey and also comparing yourself to your past selves instead of looking to others we have reached to the end of the video i just wanted to say um, a little thing like if we are in a journey like we don't have to don't be harsh to yourself like if you're not seeing improvement like if if you see like yesterday you were like this and today you also you're all you're also the same way that you were yesterday don't be harsh on yourself because some things can take time and jo- you just have to gather the skills maybe you don't have enough skills to achieve that goal so you just have to gather enough skills strength energy anything and it will just happen so don't be too much harsh on yourself because you know we are what we 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 become what we think about ourselves <coughs> when we are constantly being harsh on us on ourselves we we often um bring that those negative thoughts on ourselves so most of the time we 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 act like that and it's not worth it so just wanted to say that take care